Welcome to a beautiful Monday, President's Day, February 20th, 2012. It's 4.13 p.m. I've been up for about five hours or so. Got a lot of work done this morning. Cut up the entire uh, Watch Later playlist, which took a long time. I was up pretty uh, late working on that. Then I backed the car out. We washed the car today. That's going to be an E39 source video, so I didn't film it for the vlog. But we've got beautiful, clear blue skies as well as some jet up there and another one over there and it's just a lovely day before it's going to rain all week. Um, I just wanted to get the salt off the car. We don't see any snow until Saturday and I think it's only a 30% chance at 32 degrees or so and that'll change. Um, but it's clean now. I didn't do a complete dry off. You know, I just took the blower to it and blew most of the water off and then went over with a towel over the main body parts, hit the exhaust again and uh, didn't do much inside because it's already clean. I did clean the wheels for the first time in probably three weeks to a month. They were really bad with brake dust. Uh, so now they are nice and clean and looking good again. So that's good. One less thing that I need to do this week. But it totally feels like spring out here. It's about 42 degrees or so and the sun's out so it feels warmer than that. I would say it feels closer to 50. Um, but we can definitely tell we're not quite at spring yet. I didn't look, look all the leaves and the rotting grass and crap, but hey, you know, I'll take it. We had a terrible spring. We had a decent summer. It wasn't nearly as good as two or three summers ago. It wasn't real warm and we had a lot of water. So it's good that we have a mild winter now. It's about time. Um, you can see what the snow plow did here. I don't know if I ever filmed that. It went way off in the yard, took all the sod out. Um, so a few weeks ago I went out and I put the sod back down. I've still got a chunk over there to get this spot right here. I'm going to fill that in. Hopefully that'll come back in the spring. If not, whatever, I'll come out with some uh, um, some more sod and put that down. This is all the snow we have left over here in the landscaping where the sun doesn't really hit it, but it's going to rain and be in the upper 40s all week, so uh, that'll, that'll be gone. I think it's safe to say at this point the dead cold of winter is about done. We're going to be in the 30s, 40s, and maybe some 50s now for the next month, and um, Hope spring makes its appearance earlier than last year. Last year we really didn't have good spring weather until June. Usually it's in March or April. You know, two days ago I did the high RPM thing for uh, 15 minutes or so, just under six grand. I filled the oil up um, and I have not had the check engine light come on. Usually it, it runs the test on the secondary air every cold start, about one mile into the journey or five minutes or however long it takes you to get a mile. It's kind of like whichever comes first, a mile or about five minutes. So um, I did that, I want to say Thursday or Friday, Friday I think. I didn't see the light Saturday, Sunday, or today. So that's good. Hopefully that keeps up. Even if it doesn't though, I'll just do what I have been doing. It'll come on every two or three days and then I'll just reset it because I don't want to look at it. It takes 30 seconds to reset, so why not? I have very little homework to do. I just have to read about 30 pages in some science fiction book. So I'll probably do that tonight. Just sit down and... Get her done. Great, so here's an update. We've got um, four weeks of school before I go on vacation slash college visits. I, I wouldn't say it's a big, it's not a vacation like we used to take to a resort in the Caribbean for two weeks, but hey, you know, a week in Southern California in 60s, 70s, and mostly sun, my favorite part of the country, that's a good enough vacation for me. So I've got a four day week this week, then I have a five day week, then there's another five day week, I think. Then technically there's another five day week, but I'm leaving that Friday at six in the morning, so it'll be a four for me. So we're looking at a four, two fives, and a four. And I think one of those fives is OGT week, where the sophomores have to go in at regular time. Classes start at 8 a.m., um, but the freshmen, juniors, and seniors don't actually have to go in until around 10.30 or 11 or something like that, uh, because they have to take all the OGT, the Ohio graduation test sections there in the morning. So we go in real late, we have like 20 minute classes, and that's usually a really good week. So hopefully that's one of the five days that I have coming up. I can definitely do four weeks and 24 days, only uh, I think 20 school days or 19, 18 school days, and the five of those are short, then I'm looking at 13 full days, and, and that's pretty easy. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel now. I'm a little bit more motivated to get out of the bed in the morning, get the day done, and be one close, one day closer to one, better weather, two, not having to get up so early and go to the grind, and three, beautiful weather in California. I can remember uh, what would be this point about four to five years ago, we had our spring break in March, and I was actually sitting in the dining room when that was my office. If you don't know, my desk used to be in here back when we had carpet and the old Paisley 1990s wallpaper in here. 
But I sat there, I was using my ThinkPad. I remember I spent most of uh, spring break, I got a lot of work done, I was doing a lot more videos than I, was, than I am now, but I'd like to get back into that, you know. Um, and I can remember my mom and my sister would come back from soccer, and my dad was living here at the time, he was working in Cleveland, so it was closer for him. Uh, but we got, over the week of spring break, I think about 14 inches of snow, and I was having to go out, you know, I, actually that was when I was upgrading to probably Vista back in the day. I was going from the XP Pro SP2 to Vista, um, which would take me hours to do. Ken and you remember it. I spent my whole life working with Windows. I was a slave to Microsoft before I got money, class, sophistication, and intelligence to go with Apple. But I kept going out with my old Toro snowblower, and I was blowing all this snow, and we went back to school, and I remember it was the dead of winter. And this year's the complete opposite. We've already hit 60-some degrees this year, and there's no snow. So hopefully that keeps up through spring break. And there's other spring breaks where it's been 75 degrees. I've been biking and wanting to go to the pool. So this is a very, very diverse climate here. And uh, it's called the deciduous or the temperate deciduous forest. Cannon and Taylor, you're in ecology. You know that too. We learned that years ago. But that's what it is. And they aren't kidding when they say temperate. Sorry for the first eight minutes of this stupid vlog being me just rambling about stuff. I just felt like I needed to clear my plate, clear my mind a little bit, and... Um, give you guys a big update of what's going to be going on and you know this is a uh, reality check right here on February 20th. So now we can come out here in the sunroom sit down with the Mac. I think I'm going to do some more videos. Um, actually I want to make a tech video today so I'm going to see if I can find something to make a video on. I would love to get back into the Monday through Friday but the thing is my Fridays I usually get out of school and then it's I don't want to do any work, you know, I just go hang out with friends and I want to keep that up. So I'm going to try to do at least three videos a week, probably like a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday thing. I may take Wednesday. Um, I've said this before and it doesn't happen because it's very, very, very busy and hectic around here, especially with college scholarships I'm trying to get right now. I already got one, a thousand a semester, so that's nice, but I'd like to get more. So we'll see if we can crank out a video in a little bit. All right, cool. We got a uh, video uploading to the tech channel now talking about the iPhone 5 release. Ken then looks like I may be right with the October release over June. At least I hope I'm right and I hope the rumors are right. And we've got the uh, car video exporting here, 55% with about six minutes left. I'd love to go out right now and film that peak code reader tool video for the car, but that's going to take some refreshing for me. I haven't looked with one of those now for a while. It's just in my glove box. Um, I mean, I've used it over the past... I got it in, on Christmas Day. I've, I've used it over the past two months, but I need to go back and refresh myself with um, all the details and specifics of all it can do and for which models it works and for which models you need the OBD2 adapters and stuff. I want to make a really good video about that for the car channel, so maybe I'll get on that this week. Do I look any different? Maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't. Went and got a haircut. Um, I did forget the camera. I ended up waiting there at Great Clips for like 30 minutes. There were so many people in there at about 5.30. But I did get that done. One more or less thing to do this week. Now I'm just out here freezing, wrapping up this vlog. So thanks for watching. 3 or 4.35 today. That's a lot. 4.35. That's a number in politics. How many people are in the house? 4.35 I want to say. So um, that's it. Tomorrow's Tuesday. We got a short four day week. We'll get her done. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night, guys.